of all, let's get to Marsha and Moments of Truth. Come on down. Join us for Red's Room for some awesome music. And I would just like to say thank you. And, and as, as you have told us, nobody knows where Big Pine is. And, and I understand that because you just don't want anybody to know how awesome it is, right? That's right. <laughs> but anyways, welcome. I am so glad you guys are here. And <laughs> there you go. And I, I heard you guys rehearsing. It sounds really good. I just want to let you go. So you guys go right ahead and let's hear your first song, please. All right. We're doing Eternal Victor. This is Randy and Marcia. And we are a moment of truth. Still, no, it's you he loves. 
perfect trinity, the indwelling of your heart, calling you to be. You know, I thought Chris Squire had passed away, but it looks like he's, he's right behind you there, Marsha. Is that? I, That's James Hetfield. I, I, no, I'm just kidding. Chris Squire was the bass player. For, it, Chris, James knows, knows who I'm talking about. Like <laughs> it, that was so good. Oh, oh, be still. What, how, how, how? many times in a day does God tell us to be still? We're just busy. Oh, still what an learning. encouragement. What an encouragement. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm getting a little better at it because I'm a little slow. <laughs> I'm getting older, but oh, I love that. Thank you for sharing that song. Guys, you are moments of truth. Tell us a little bit about your, um, what, what you're uh, doing these days and like, are you writing? Are you producing? Are you playing? What What's going on? Um, yeah, everything. Um, like I was saying, uh, we just played it, Crazy Bus, Bus Worship, and um, I had some hand surgery earlier this year, so I was out for a few months with that. But it's all better, and I'm you know, it's stronger than ever now, so we're getting back into things, and we're, uh, we've been writing a lot of music. We've been um, getting our studio ready for uh, recording taking production classes and so we've started that process we got some new gear we're still figuring out but um we're, we're just about there so that's what we're going to be doing next self-produced um some uh songs that we'll be starting and hopefully we're going to have something done by christmas so <laughs> something well, at least one song <laughs> that that is a good prayer request god Help me get something done by Christmas. I, I got so much stuff that I need to get done. Oh, can't believe it. How yeah. cool. What That was such a good song. What would you like to sing for us next? Our next song is an uppity, pop, punk kind of song. Um, it's called In You.
Oh, there we go. <laughs> the, the host would like you to unmute, TJ. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Oh, in your will. Oh, gosh. And you know what's funny? Do you guys know? I hope you don't. But do you know My Chemical Romance? I've heard, yeah, yeah, I've heard of them. I've yeah, the I've band. Yeah, I, sp I spent the week with them last week. And I was... Just come on, guys. You know, sing about something that's 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 you know lovely and Christian, and, and you know they they just don't have anything like that. But I would so much rather hear you guys. And when he said punk, that was the first thing I thought. They're they're kind of quasi punk emo sort of weird thing. But anyways, I I had to spend the week with these guys. I'm so glad that's over, and I was just blessed hearing your your song. Ah, that's so much fun, and. And just just getting the bass going. Oh, you guys you guys have fun playing, don't you? Yeah, we do. That's we so cool. <laughs> what what is your main um, goal when you're songwriting or when you're playing or ministering or whatever you do? What what is do you have a sort of like a like a mission statement or sort of like a something that that's like this is why we're doing this? We are. We love rock and roll. Our influences are all, pretty much all secular. Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, uh, Journey, Pretenders, um, just a bunch of different ones. Rush, we love Rush. Um, and uh, some new wave bands, you know, like M Missing Persons. And I love um, uh, just a lot of diversity. So we have a lot of eclectic genres within our music, but it all f falls under the category of rock. So we use just kind of this eclectic rock, really, just to to bring others to Christ. That's that's all we really want to do. Mm. Um, I I love that. I I have a vocabulary of music from the seventies and eighties, and I'm the same way. I it's good music, but it's like it needs Jesus, because <laughs> yeah, because that exactly. that that is the message worth sharing. That Christ died, Christ rose again, Christ is coming back for his children and that it's just that message you know it's like why can't we have fun you know do you know who randy uh not randy stonehill do you know who larry norman is yeah yeah why should the devil have all the good all music the that's right that's right that's exactly it i mean and it's been a frustration of ours so i think that kind of has fueled a lot of what we do hmm. that's so cool um Oh, um, he has his own I, mic. He's shy. Does this work now? Oh, listen to you. You have a voice. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Not a cardboard cutout after all. <laughs> <laughs> He's the well, one. well, it is. It is so good to have you guys. I'm. I'm so glad that you're bringing you know the '70s and '80s back to Christian rock. Oh, that's fun. And what would you guys like to do? Next. Next is a song called Crossroad. It's a uh, rock ballad, uh, really geared towards the lost, there's lost sheep.
Sorry, I forgot to mute, unmute last time. Crossroads by Moments of Truth, Concert 392. Eight more weeks, and that's what? Four million? No, 400 concerts. But this is Red's Room, one concert at a time, praising God. Tonight we have Moments of Truth. We have from Big Pine, California, and I, I, I've been dangerously close to there because my relatives live in Visalia. 
and I've been to Sequoia and I've been to Yel um, or Yosemite and Mammoth and I love Visalia but I I bet where you guys are is way better than my Yeah, <laughs> way way better. We like it here. It's it's really yeah. Good place. Yeah, if you Google um, Big Pine images, you'll get a nice view, some nice, really pretty views mm -hmm. of where we're looking at. That sounds good. We're gonna give you one more song, one more spot here, and I just want to hear uh, you. You everybody's changed, so let's. Let's see why you've changed and let's hear what you've got for your last song of the evening. Okay, so yeah, we're swapping out. Randy's playing a 12 string acoustic. And um, this next song is called Fallen. It's a progressive rock ballad. It's actually two songs sandwiched together. One's about um, just, just a cry out to the lost for the Lord. Uh, just bringing questions to those who don't really have the answers. <clears throat> and then um, the last half is uh, a song called New Day, which is about the second coming of the Lord. So it's like bookends of the journey of the walk with Christ, finding him, receiving him, and celebrating his, his imminent return, right?
truth will find you standing as you walk into the Ladies and gentlemen, that was Moments of Truth taking you on a B-side journey through the gospel and through all kinds of cool stuff. And I have a t-shirt that I need to send you, Marsha. It's 
Vocals waste time between guitar solos. <laughs> Thank you so much. That, no, that was cool. I, I didn't I didn't know you were going to do some solos. That's, that sounded great. So thank you again for that. Please tell us where we can find out more about you. Okay, well, we, um, we started our Facebook page not too long ago. Um, it's Moment of Truth hyphen band. So if you look for a group called Moment of Truth hyphen band, we'll be posting updates and stuff like that on there. And then um, we got our URL. And we'll be putting that on there. I forgot what it is already. But um, I think it's moment of, oh, I won't say it. <laughs> I'll put that on the uh, Facebook site. So that'll have uh, more information on there, too, and just more interaction on the um, on the. That'll uh, be good. And I am, I'm so excited that you guys are going to be you know, getting your studio ready, going to be recording. And by Christmas, I hope we get to hear more of you guys. I hope you have lots of good songs produced and you will be just getting out there and just sharing God's word. Do you mind if I pray for you guys real quick? Oh, we'd love it. Thank you. Lord, thank you for these two wonderful, amazing musicians, God, who love you, who love your word, who love your children, that Lord, they want to minister, they want to give forth their gifts to those that need to hear about your word, about your promises and i ask you to to continue to bless them to give them favor and abundance in their in their ministry their their music their studio i pray that they would uh, just have open hearts and minds to learn all this new stuff they're getting and lord that they would apply it well and just have so much love and fun with this music i thank you so much that that they are they're talented, that they have a great place to live. You you got, got them this far, and Lord, I can't wait to see where they're going. Please be with them, Lord. Keep them safe in the snow and the, the wet weather, whatever kind of weather they get up there, and I just ask you to bless them abundantly. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was really fun. Thanks a lot for being here.